Hi, it's Mr. Baumgarten, and today I'm going to show you how to upload a Python Flask project onto the real world wide web for you to be able to share it with your friends. Uh, and so I've got here a little chat application that I've been building with Coding Club, and we're going to put it up on a service called Python Anywhere. They have a free tier, which is perfect for uh, beginner level projects. Uh, they also have a relatively cheap $5 a month paid tier if you need extra service uh, capacity beyond that. Uh, if you're planning to go beyond that, the $5 a month plan, to be honest, I would probably then start looking at switching a server to a service such as DigitalOcean or maybe one of the other big uh, cloud providers. Um, but the beautiful thing about Python Anywhere is that it pre-does a lot of the configuration tasks necessary to get Flask to work. If you're going to use an alternate provider, you will need to learn how to set up a Linux server uh, for Flask yourself. And that can take a couple of hours worth of technical documents uh, to plow through. So, yeah. All right, so if you're using Python anywhere, click on Create a Beginner Account, and it will take you to a page to register. Once you have registered and you've gone through the little tour, it'll provide you a dashboard. And you can see here, at the moment, I do not have any web apps. So I'm going to click on the web button here on my dashboard and get ready to create my first web app. So let's click on that. Uh, your web app's domain name defaults to whatever you made your account name, .pythonanywhere.com. So I'm then going to click Next. And I'm using Flask and Python 3.8. And then here it says, what file name do I want as the entry point to my website? So because in my VS Code, I called it main.py as my main file, I'm going to do the same in uh, Python anywhere, so I don't have to rename my files later on. So instead of flask app.py, I'm going to change that to main.py. Now I'm going to click Next. And now Python Anywhere will go away and set up a server for me. And hello, it is up and running. And if I right click on my address here and open in a new tab, there's the hello from Flask. So we can see there that it's up and running. Now this best before date thing, this is for the free accounts. And basically this just means um, so that people don't create free accounts on their system that uh, create work uh, and then just abandon their projects. This means that you have to log into your Python Anywhere account once every three months to keep your website active, which, you know, for a free account service, that's not asking very much in return. So paying users, obviously, you don't have to do that because you're paying to keep your account alive. So now that I've got this account, and I've got this website, I can go into the files menu and I can go into the directory for my site and I see there's a main.py here. And if I click on that, I can see there's the Python file. And so I can edit it through their website if I want. But rather than that, what I really wanna do is upload all of my files in one go. So I'm gonna get my Windows File Explorer out and select all the files so you can see here, I'm in my Flask project. Now there's some system folders here that I don't need to upload. I don't need the Git folder or my VS Code folder uh, or my PyCache folder or my VMP folder if you've got one of those. Uh, but I'm, I do want the rest of that. Uh, oh, and one thing I will do, I'm going to come into my VS Code and I need to stop my program from running. Uh, because otherwise the database file is open and I'll get an error that I can't make a proper copy of my database because someone else is using it and that was VS Code. So now that I've got that sorted, right click and I'm going to, I've got 7-zip installed on here. Um, let me just do that where you can see it on the screen capture. So I'm going to say add to Flask Lessons tiny21.zip and so whatever zip tool you use. So now I've got my zip folder and it contains a copy of all of the files that I want to upload. Once I have that, then I can come in to my Python anywhere. And let's go 
to my files tab and uh, go into my site and upload a file and so now I'm going to pick my flask lessons 2021 zip file open that let it upload and there it is now I just need to extract this file so that all the files that were within it uh, are expanded into this directory so to do that I'm going to open a bash console here and this puts me into like the command prompt or the terminal of the Linux system that is running on Python anywhere. And we can see here, so um, I'm in the slash my site folder and I can look in the contents of it by saying ls and hit enter and there's the files. Uh, nice little trick, ls space hyphen al gives you um, a more detailed listing. You can uh, get the date and time and the file sizes and who owns the file and the file permissions and stuff like that. In any case we can see there's a flask lessons 2021 zip file here. So I'm just going to say unzip space flask lessons oops lessons 2021.zip and that's extracted all those files. Do I want to replace main.py? Yes I certainly do. And there's everything else. And so now if I do ls space hyphen al, I can see I have my folders and everything is there. So let's go back to my files tab. All right, and we can see here. So I've got my my site and there's my yeah, my photos folder my static folder. All right, everything's been nicely uploaded for me, my templates folder and my uploads folder. What's in that? Okay. Now, there's one other little thing that we have to do. Uh, so certainly for my, the students who have been following my coding class, um, if you're using Flask sessions, Python Anywhere doesn't have that installed by default which is a little odd, but anyway. Um, so in my main.py, we're importing from Flask session. Um, Flask SQL Kumi is installed, as is Flask. Um, but we, yeah, we have to go into the bash console. So th that's why I kept that open. We have to install this manually. So pip three space install space hyphen hyphen user space flask hyphen session enter and that will go away and install the flask session library and so any other extra libraries that you need to install uh, you need to take a similar approach and now I do believe that that should be it so if I go to my web tab and tell it to reload my server it will now go and check everything. And if I've done this correctly, <laughs> moment of truth, let's refresh my web page. Okay, here's my chat application, which if I log into it, it'll load up all my messages and uh, test from Python anywhere, send and there it is. Woohoo! Quick and easy. That wasn't too painful at all, was it? Okay. <laughs> um, your bash console, you can just click, oh, sorry, you can just type exit to close that. Uh, and make sure you remember to log in to your Python Anywhere once every three months before the date to keep your website active or pay the $5 a month. Um, they will send you plenty of friendly warning emails before that date as well. All right, this is Mr. Baumgarten signing out. Have fun with your Flask website projects online.